defensively. That's what I want to see. All right, Ed, your turn. Uh, movie 43. Now, this looks like a wacky film, Dave. It does. This has got a hundred different people in it. Elizabeth Banks, Kristen Bell, Halle Berry, Kate Bosworth. Oh, there's Gerard Butler. Gerard Butler, Butler Common, Anna Ferris, Richard Gere, Terrence Howard, Hugh Jackman, Greg Kinnear, Johnny Knoxville. Dennis Quaid, <laughs> Dennis Sean Qu William Scott, Emma, Emma Stone, Stone, Jason Sudeikis, Uma, Uma Thurman, Uma, Naomi Watts, and Kate Winslet. There you go. From the twisted minds of, of producers, Peter Farrelly and Charles Wessler comes Movie 43, the outrageous new ensemble comedy starring some of the biggest names in Hollywood. Movie 43 is not for the easily offended and contains jaw-dropping, sometimes shockingly disturbing, but always entertaining intertwined storylines you'll have to see to believe. Rated R for strong pervasive, crude, and sexual content, Ooh. including dialogue, graphic nudity, oh, yeah. language, and some violence and drug use. I hope it's like Holly Berry or, or Kate <laughs> Bosworth or, or Winslet or Naomi Watts who's nude. But, is, is, but they didn't mention mm. in there uh, Liv Shriver's in this. Mm -hmm. There's Richard Gere. <laughs> Unfortunately, graphic nudity usually means a man's organ oh, cannot be displayed. We can't have that. And it won't be Richard Gere because he's already done that. Yeah, a little bit. He did that. <laughs> oh, 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 I, I'm a little. Do you know the, the reason for the name? Movie 43? What, what is the I, significance of this? I don't know. Everybody's in it, though. Maybe there's 43 stars in it. I don't think there is. I see all the stars here. Well, Kate Winslet, there's your graphic nudity. Right. Yeah, she's usually good for showing uh, Thatchery as well. Oh, How many times do I have to tell you? You're black, they're white. So, Coach, what you saying is you just walk with the Lord. The Lord did his part already. Well, he made you nice laugh. to see an offensive R rated comedy if it's good. We like, we like to be offended? Yeah, we haven't seen that since uh, Blazing Saddles, one of those. Mm. Mm. People, they're too afraid, Ed. Too they're afraid to upset uh, our, our brethren. <laughs> yes, too politically correct these days. I like yeah. the old days, Dave. Yes. When you could make fun of people. <laughs> That's right. The Don Rickles days. Oh, yes. When you just do and say whatever you want. Even we have had a, well, time has diminished our... Uh, or sharpness, Dave, but we've even had to... <laughs> Time has diminished our sharpness. We've even had to, you know, cut it down these days. We have. We don't offend anyone right. these days because you can't. Right. We can't even make those sounds that are... That we used to do about the look at us, we're walking and talking, or <laughs> even the... Yes, we can't do what the producer's doing. Right. Even the last uh, oh, ethnic oh, oh, oh. thing that we could kind of get away with. Or like, Doesn't... or like the Three Stooges when uh, the butler would be saying, "This house is so going crazy." Can't do that. No. But remember the guy or whoever wrote in one time on like a back of like a cornflakes thing. If I win the priz, <laughs> give me the priz. Send me the priz. Right. The guy wanted his priz. Right. And but and then there was always uh, David Snyder who I just would hang up on. Yeah. I miss calling the fans. I wish we could hook that up again. <laughs> yeah, just like we would do the show and then run to a phone booth at Colony Center or something. Do you know those are gone now? Those were the ones? <laughs> the phone booth we used to collect our calls from the games are gone by the door. Are they? That's, what do you do if you're, you lose your phone and you're out there in the wild? What do, you do? what do you do if you don't have a phone? Everybody's got a phone. No, they don't. If, you have your uh, track well, phone. Well, track phone. Sometimes it's on, sometimes it's not. Mm -hmm. Most of the time it's not on. Hmm. Of course, lately it's the only way you can get a hold of me since I don't have a phone mm -hmm. as I'm moving. Yes. All right, let's move on to our next film, Parker. This looks good, Dave. I never heard of it. I like this Jason Statham now. Starring Jason Statham, Jennifer Lopez, Michael Chiklis, and Nick Nolte. Parker is a professional thief who lives by a personal code of ethics. Don't steal from people who can't afford it, and don't hurt people who don't deserve it. But on his latest heist, his crew double-crosses him. Oh, that's bad. You don't double-cross Jason Statham. No. They steal his stash, and they leave him for dead. 
Determined to make sure they regret it, Parker tracks them to Palm Beach. Takes an unlikely partner, Leslie, a savvy insider who's short on cash, but big on looks, smarts, and ambition. I guess that would be Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Together, they devise a plan to hijack the score, take everyone down, and get away clean. Rated R for strong violence throughout. Oh, look, it's Nick Nolte looking particularly white. <laughs> I notice Jennifer Lopez doesn't look like she does. It's very writhing there. Mm. She doesn't look as made up as she did on American Idol. You no. can see she looks like she's 43 or whatever she is here. <laughs> well, well that's, that's, that's about her age. She had some kind of high def uh, caked on makeup. She looked like she was just out of the womb. Oh. <laughs> that look what she's oh, taking off. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's still rather lovely. Don't you think it? Oh, yeah, 43 is young Chicky D. <laughs> is it young Chicky D, 43? If you're a little older, then. Okay, true, I suppose. Well, to us, that's a young Chicky D. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was trying not to say that. <laughs> Just a note for maybe in between shows. I think this chair needs some oil. <laughs> it's about time. I can't move an inch without squeaking here. So far, I've seen one little two-second blurb of uh, Nick Nolte. <laughs> That's probably more than enough. All right. I always follow through. Jason yeah, He was good in those um, Expendable movies. And they, I thought those crank things looked entertaining. They never, were, actually, they were. I never saw them. I did like those films. And he did, uh, what, three Transporter films? Yeah. Which were okay. But Parker, that's the film. Parker. <laughs> Parker! Peter Parker. <laughs> Oh, did you catch up on any DVDs or movies over the break, Dave? Holiday? I, I saw you know, Ted. Oh, I saw Ted as well. I saw it in the theater, and I rented it. You rented it too? I did. Did you watch the unrated? I did. Did you notice any difference? I did you? not. You did? <laughs> but I'm sure you'll remind me. I, I don't know. I, didn't, I only mm. saw the unrated one. Oh. I thought it was pretty good. I was expecting it to be a little more offensive than... Uh, I thought it was fairly offensive. You did. I did. I Not wasn't... to me. It doesn't offend me. No. But I mean, for most people, no. they would find it offensive. Yeah, the cursing. Yeah. But it was good. I liked that. I it liked was good, yes. I, there could be a sequel. I think there, there is, is yeah. a, There could be a sequel. It's in the works. Are we off to DVD releases? Now? I was giving the producer a few moments to locate. And I did I help you done. out by putting the one. Did you notice the one in the corner for show one? That's the best I could do for you <laughs> <laughs> at the last minute. White Zombie. Yes. Who's going to rent that? Uh, I would rent it, maybe buy it. That was a good zombie film with Bela Lugosi, Dave. Do you remember that at all? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you do remember it. I do. It was very creepy and well lit. Mm, yeah, I, I, we're, we'll have to respectfully disagree. Okay. Anything with Bela Lugosi was pretty much garbage. <laughs> Oh, oh, jeez. Listen oh. to the children of the night. What music they may. <laughs> I do. <laughs> um, boy, the whole man's career is just uh, shut down by Dave. Uh, here's the poor man's uh, Elvira <laughs> with the big cleavage hanging out. Know, this is Morella's. <laughs> Blood vision. <laughs> <laughs> Three bone chilling chillers. This looks like it might have a little bit of the Italian flavor. Could, yeah. The Italian uh, horror films, and that she looks like Sophia Loren down there with mm. the big cleavage hanging out. <laughs> Marellas. <laughs> Maybe that's what they call them, Marellas. Okay, have you heard of this film, Dave? No. Compliance. This was based on two events. Where somebody called into a McDonald's, they changed the name for this film, and told uh, the manager that one of the employees was stealing or doing something. Mm -hmm. And then over the phone, he would have the manager strip search the employee. He said, I'm a, I'm a, a police officer. <laughs> he was telling the manager what to do to this woman, and she was... Uh, a, a brutalized <laughs> apparently by this manager and never uh, questioned who she was talking to on the hmm. phone. Whoever it is, the manager is very lucky that the person that, you know, he was checking out mm -hmm. did not suffer from vagina dentata. Because <laughs> right. that could be a problem. Right, that could have been uh, terrible. <laughs> 